Zachariah, I've got something I need to ask you. Zachariah, I am glad to see you. You, what you did, what you wished for us, no one will ever forget. We lost many, and for that, we are mourning. But we can at least celebrate that because of you, the Order has not disappeared. We're brothers and sisters. We stand together. Yes, and others have joined us too, you know. The merchants spread the word to those who are still in hiding. But for those non-initiated and those who passed, we are all here. Did the Great Master manage to tell or give you anything before he passed, before his sacrifice? He told me to watch over the Order, gave me a tablet. He'd managed to translate the text of the relic I'd brought back from an excavation in Aurora. And what did it say? It talks about an important research base, the largest the settlers ever built on Mars, one that was in contact with Earth. It had a beacon. Unfortunately, it didn't say where the base was, but only the location of a smaller dome that housed some of the larger base's scientists. Then we must find it. <laughs> oh, I can feel it, Zachariah. We are so close to contacting Earth again. Maybe, but I have the feeling we're not the only ones who know about it, though. Thanks to Alan, the ASC might have gotten their hands on the tablet while the Great Master was being held. Alan? How could he betray our order? We have to beat the ASC to that dome. What can I do to help? Dozens of Technomancers have spent years trying to re-establish contact with Earth. What can you tell me about that? Well, first, that search has been stalled for years. At the beginning, of course, we collected anything relating to the settlers. Most of the relics, though, turned out to be just simple tools. The wars and our inability to travel out of our infrastructure had all but squashed the opportunity to explore. This is the first time that we have been freed of our yokes, free to explore again. What limits our work, though, is that few of us can read the settlers' secret writings. A gift, I believe, only the Great Master had. And with the most important knowledge having been written in that language... What we know, though, is that there is, in fact, an intact beacon somewhere that there are still many undiscovered sites. And now today, with you, we have a hope again to find it. Greetings, Zachariah. Everybody settled in? We are, Zachariah, yes. There's something on your mind, isn't there? That obvious? The Great Master asked me to look after everyone. Having the unconditional support of everyone would help me a lot. Don't know how to pull that together, though. We're a family, Zachariah. You'll always have our support. You're looking to become a great master, though. That's different. There are some who obviously will question your abilities to hold that position. It's not personal. You did tremendous things for us, Zachariah. You did. But not everyone knows you well enough. You're young, inexperienced. And while your talent speaks for itself, I have a feeling some will want to put those talents to the test before supporting you. My suggestion would be this. Find the most influential masters. I'm sure they'll have questions. Satisfy their expectations, and I believe nothing can stand in your way. And I'll go see them. Hey, Brad. Zachariah, how's the hunting? I've got your last specimen. At last! Glands of the infamous Locusta Tempestatus. Fantastic. My thanks are endless. Tell me, how was its behavior? You're welcome. Its behavior? I don't... Well, it looked like it was absorbing electrical power that made it stronger. You don't say. Fascinating. Might you be willing to make some more collections while I study these? If so, the Black Mole would be quite a catch. It's been known to dwell in the canyons surrounding Noctis. I'll see what I can do. Hey there, I... Melvin already told me you want to become our great master. I have no problem with it, but you'll have to prove you know how to fight first. Show me what you've got. Uh... Sorry, I hurt you. Honestly. But if you can't...
can't fight better than that. I can't support you. Go train a bit, and come back when you're ready. We need a great master who can hold his own. Hey there. Melvin, oh. Uh... that. How could I not give you my support after that? It'd be nice to have a great master who knows how to make some blood flow. Hey there. Ah, the man who hopes to rise from lieutenant to the ranks of great master. I'll be honest. I'd back you simply from what you've already done for us. To me, you've already proven your courage and leadership. But... But... A great master also needs to take care of the logistics, like the equipment. Keeping them working, upgrading them, and... All right, I'll cut to the chase. I actually just want a better staff. So, in short, if I give you my staff, you get it upgraded. After, you'll have my support. Deal? Let me see what I can do. Hi. Melvin told me to find you. Ah, so you're the one who's hoping to be our great master. You're so... young. Not that it diminishes the possibility, but to be worthy of such a role, one must have extensive knowledge of the settlers and Earth. Without that, how could you possibly lead us? I agree. So why not test my knowledge? Fair enough. An easy question. What is the name of the celestial body closest to Earth? And what percentage of the beautiful blue earth is covered in water? The name of the mythical first man to enter space, what was it? Legend has it that he was an ancestor of the first reachers, if you believe such tales. Interesting. I believe three correct answers is good enough for me. I will ask one last question. The name of the first machine the Earthlings sent flying over our planet. You're indeed well versed in astronomy, a rare quality in one so young. Perhaps there lies within you a strong link to Earth? Either way, it is an excellent sign of your potential to lead. You have my support. Hello, Zachariah. Word is that you aim to become our next great master. Please, take no offense, but it is my belief that you are far too inexperienced for such a monumental task. Enthusiasm you have, and strength. But look at the state of us. Our order is chaotic. Whoever leads us must have perfected our rights, that he might initiate our new technomancers properly in our ways. Then test me. Let my knowledge speak for itself. So let it be. We are, as Technomancers, connected by a secret that we all learned the same way. Tell me, who were the protagonists of the message you saw? And what was the object the Great Master gave you during the ceremony? And what two oaths does the initiate recite to end the ceremony? <laughs> nearly flawless, but nearly and flawless do not belong together. Our rights must remain pristine. Their meaning is deep, and you have not yet mastered them. So...
You do nice work. Much more balanced. I guess you can call this my better staff. Get it? My better staff? Good thing that getting my humor isn't a prerequisite for my support. I'd be happy to see you as great master. Greetings, Zachariah. My congratulations, Great Master Zachariah. The decisions of the other Technomancers were sent to me. Though I wish we could offer you a proper ceremony, we are but a shell of our former selves. Know that all of us, no matter how few, renew our vows before you to preserve the secret and continue to seek the Earth at any cost. I will, if it's your desire, ensure the communication between our brothers, and if you have any mission for us, please, do not hesitate to come see me. Melvin, thank you. Just let me know if anyone gets wind of threats, or any sort of information that'll allow us to move forward. Talk to you later. Zachariah, what can I do for you? So I went out to see if there's any Vori in the city. Can I put my mind at ease now? They're out. Put your worries to rest. I really doubt Anton will send any more our way. Fantastic. That is an enormous weight off my chest, Zachariah. Got your merchandise to your client, but while I was there, she told me something troubling. What's that? Victor apparently stopped the caravan, tortured and killed its merchants, but he didn't kill them before they told him where Noctis is, and from what she heard, your city's about to be overrun by ASC. That's... that doesn't quite... All the caravans sent to Ophir have already returned. Strange. Knew we couldn't hide forever. We could try, but... I knew the ASC snakes would slither in at some point. Thank you for the heads up. I'll be sure to send a little something to my client in thanks, too. I'm sure the ASC's in Noctis. Maybe they replaced the men in the caravan and snuck in the city like that. I'll look into it. If it's true, we need to find the bullshit merchant sooner rather than later. Zachariah, do you hear yourself? Don't be so paranoid. I told you not to worry, didn't I? Now listen. If you find there's truth to it all, we'll act, and swiftly. But until then, they're just rumors, nothing more. I need another favor, Mr. Mansa. Seems looters have taken to attacking our caravans in the canyon leading to Ophir lately. They would have likely come down to the city in order to fence their spoils. They haven't. This makes me doubt that the thieves are free agents. Perhaps they're working under someone else's interests. But I'd like to have more than a suspicion, and I'd like it to stop. Set up a counter-ambush, catch the looters red-handed, make them talk. Got a more specific plan? <sighs> Been hatching one. You hide among the merchandise on board one of the caravans, belonging to a merchant I fully trust. When the attack hits... Then I head back, get as rough as I need to until they tell us who's sending them, and who their mole and Noctis is. Smart man. I'll think about it. <laughs> 